We're getting closer and closer to hitting the quorum for the new proposal. If this proposal does pass, then finally Terra Class will be in the hands of the community and our new developer team can finally enable the 1.2 transaction, burn and so many other things. So you have to check this out to see what's been happening and what's going to happen in the next couple of days here for Terra Luna Classic. Let's go. So here we are on CoinMarketCap right now. The market cap here for Terra Classic is basically at $640 million. The volume here is at $64 million. And basically we're below the 0 0.0001 area. We're at 97 right now. So we pretty much did go down. Right now we are stabilizing. But if we do continue, we can check out all the latest updates here. Basically, look at this now. So it says here TTLG supports the community and will let delegators decide. We're here to validate and give Terra a future. That's the whole point. So couple of validators that actually say no, a couple of validators that actually say yes. This is where we are in the standoff right now. So if we do continue, it says here five days left to vote on Prop 4159. So far, four validators have voted no. Not sure uh, who they are as it is only showing them as wallet addresses. 28% have voted, so we are nearing the 40% quorum line. So yeah, like I said, pretty close here to the quorum. Hopefully we do reach the quorum because if we don't, then nothing will be enabled. For now, it's a yes, which is super interesting. We also have abstain here. So abstain is at 34%, but still the yeses are winning. If we continue here, this is Vegas, one of the guys here from Terra Rebels saying here on track for now, validators, community members that have a delegation, keep in mind you're the ones making history on Luna Classic and in crypto. So yeah, this is how it does work. If we continue here, it says here only 3 plus 1 percent more turnout needed. So validators vote to save Luna Classic. Many of you are focusing on the new Luna chain, assuming that Luna Classic is dead, but huge efforts have been ongoing to save it. A critical step in is passing this proposal to reopen staking and delegation. Do the right thing. So yeah, do the right thing and let us start working on Terra Classic. Let the community have Terra Classic. 23 validators have voted yes. So Terra Rebels will restore order. Validators clearly support this movement. The community is nothing but huddled. So yeah, Luna Classic, Penguins, huddle with Terra Rebels. So who is ready to stake? Yeah, staking. Staking is going to be enabled. So there's a chance here that we're going to pump guys pretty soon here because of these all, all of these news here. So that's, yeah, that's about it. So Happy Cat Crypto. He's the only guy who's been like posting every single day about... Oh, it says here, Prop 4159 update, quorum reached, past threshold reached, well done. There you go, finally, we did it. <laughs> so we actually did it, we reached the quorum. If you look at the picture here, boom, past the threshold and past probably the quorum should be right over here somewhere. And we have 58% for yes, uh, abstain is 32%. No is 9% and no bit veto is basically 0 0.09. So basically, yes, the yeses have won. That's absolutely amazing. But we still need to wait a, little, a couple of days here to see what's going to happen. So it ends in three days. So we need to still wait for those three days. But at least now the quorum has been filled. So uh, the vote will be the votes will be counted. But that doesn't mean that it's over. Terrell Classic will be the, in the hands of the community. This is what we've been waiting for. Okay, let's continue. I want to talk about this massive post here from Bitcoin.com saying here, Do Kwan Terraform Labs faced class action lawsuit for alleged selling unregistered securities. So while most of the crypto economy, digital assets have been significant gains this month. So Terra Luna, uh, so 2.0 has been stagnant as it has shed 24% against Bitcoin during the last 30 days. Luna is down 89% from token's all-time price high two months ago on May 28th. And moreover, the whistleblower Fatman has revealed that victims of the Terra collapse have failed a class action lawsuit against Terraform Labs, Doquan, and Nicholas Platis. Seeing here, crypto whistleblower Fatman revealed getting involved in Terra lawsuit so justice can take its course. Seeing here, on July 28th, the whistleblower Fatman should have signed up a link for investors who were hurt financially with the Terra collapse in mid May. The case is being handled by the legislation firm Scott plus Scott, and defendants include Terraform Labs, DFL, Nicholas, Doquan, and Doquan here. So, furthermore, Jump Crypto, Jump Trading, Republic Capital, Republic Maximal LLC, 
and so many other ones uh, are included. In Fatman's Twitter thread that discussed the loss of the whistleblower complained Doquan's intelligent but noted that the Terra co-founder did not use it for good. Instead of using his genius for good, Do used it to create a scheme so, so convincing, ingeniously makes it in real utility with sheer lies that has not only led to the downfall of thousands of investors but also some big funds who have been hoodwinked in spite of solid research. So it says here Luna 2.0 market, markets founder. So South Korean authorities investigate Terra co-founders Do Kwon and Daniel. Seeing here, while the class action lawsuit participants have prepped for the case against TFL, the project's Luna 2.0 token called Luna has not been performing as well as most of crypto e economy. Luna has lost 24% against Bitcoin since last month and 9% against the US dollar in the same time frame. Out of 13,000 crypto coins in existence, Luna is ranked 148 with a 261 million market cap valuation. Since Luna's all-time high on May 28 when it reached $18 per unit, Luna has lost 89% in USD. South Korean law enforcement officials are investigating TFL, Shin and Kwon and Fat Man say a rough translation of the article details that the prosecutor also brought up the possibility of cooperation with Interpol to issue a red notice for Do Kwan's extraction. The class action complaint published by Scott Post Scott claims all, the, all of the Terra tokens TFL has issued are unregistered securities and TFL never registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. So, in Fat Man's Twitter thread, the whistleblower stressed that it was hard to convey how badly some Terra investors were affected by the collapse. Fat Man Twitter thread concluded by noting, It's time to take matters into our own hands. I'm sick of seeing our space invaded by scammers who think they can brazenly rob thousands of innocents and get away with it. So people like Doquam made this industry rotten. So it's time for a purge so crypto can be reborn anew. There you go. This is what's been happening here for the last well, couple of months even, like gathering all this data, trying to really find out what's been happening. But for now, we don't really have any information what really happened in the background. So we need to wait. We need to be patient. We need to wait and then see what the lawyers are actually going to, what the evidence is going to be here. This, this is why I do believe the Terra Classic has so much potential, but the Terra Luna 2.0, I don't know about that one because who is going to follow Doquan if they see that this one, this coin here wasn't used as it should, like people were lied to. So we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen here. There's a lot of potential here for Luna Classic. Like I said, I don't, I don't know about the new Luna, but the old Luna has potential because the community is grabbing it and it is taking it into their own hands. And it's still listed on all the major exchanges. And I don't believe that it will be delisted because the community just wants it to be here. So we already have like a stepping stone that everything is already listed on all the major exchanges. So that's awesome. But now we need utility we need more use cases here for terra classic so we're probably not gonna get mass amounts of investors coming into the project but it could turn into something a little bit more different than it was before but we're gonna see what's gonna happen here to luna classic in the end we are stabilizing here we're trying to maintain this area but as you can see it's super difficult for luna to do it even though bitcoin has been making some new highs it looks like luna is still trying to survive at this area like I said, we're waiting for some uh, well, interesting and good news, and those news should be coming here pretty soon once we do pass uh, the proposal. If the proposal does pass and plus to implement finally their new code, then I do believe that we're going to see some kind of increase here for Luna Classic. But until then, patience. Patience is key. There's nothing too much we can do about it. Just watch the charts, slowly stabilize, and that's it. That's, that's the only thing we can do here. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy this video. If you did, it means so much for me. If you can like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.